We're new at six, an effort that's putting kids in the crosshairs. State legislators are trying one more time to make kindergarten mandatory in California. The idea won bipartisan support last year, but Governor Brown vetoed that proposal. The biggest obstacle appears to be money, but some critics say the state has its priorities all wrong. What do we call this, Addie? Jennifer Porch has been teaching for nearly two decades. I, I was born to be a teacher. <laughs> in the last few years, she's seen seismic changes in early curriculum. Academics have increased tremendously. First grade is now doing things that we taught in second grade. Kindergarten is now doing many of the things that used to be taught in first grade. Kindergarten isn't just about finger painting and naps anymore. We need to know the numbers to 100. 1920. Okay, we need to leave kindergarten reading and writing. So it may surprise you to know that kindergarten is not mandatory in California. The Teachers Association says those children who skip it are at an extreme disadvantage when they start first grade. We have children coming from many, many different backgrounds. We're truly going to close in the achievement gap and bring California back to its real successful days that we have had. We need those children in school getting that basic foundation. Last year, Governor Brown vetoed legislation that would have made kindergarten mandatory, saying parents know what's best for their kids. 93% of five-year-olds currently attend kindergarten. Bringing those last 7% in is estimated to cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Supporters say spending that money now will set thousands of children up for success and ideally deter many of them from entering a possible life of crime. I called the state's Department of Corrections and found on average, California spends nearly $64,000 per inmate every year. Compare that to the $10,000 average the state spends per student every year. Quite the disparity there. The bill passed the state assembly in June and is now pending in the Senate.